What's going on? We back again. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back at the boxing clinic. And we're talking about these, uh, you know, hard uh, purses for the Triple G Canelo undercard, mainly the main event. And I was in an argument on the thread in a boxing group. Shout out to the championship rounds on Facebook. Benny Ace dropping bombs on my boy Antonio, Carlos, everybody in there that's doing it big. Um, I had an argument with a guy. I don't know the guy. Never seen him before. He says that uh, Forbes said that Canelo and Triple G is guaranteed $15 million a piece. I said, well, that don't sound right. My sources say it was something like uh, $8 and $11 million a piece. That's the article I read. said, and it sounded more, more real. And in actuality, you've seen a real Nevada State Athletic Commission purse, hard purse card. Canelo's getting $5 million hard. That's what he get. But he, if the pay-per-view does well, the upside is going to be generous to him. Triple G is getting $3 million. Means his pay-per-view side uh, goes up. He might be guaranteed $15, $10 million if they hit the $1.5 they expect him to hit. Which may be a stretch at this point, but that's a conversation for another day. But, you know, uh, you know, the $15 million when people were reporting that from Forbes, that just didn't sound right. And people say, oh, it's Forbes. How do you know? You're wrong. You're Forbes. Forbes been wrong a lot of times, especially when they do the, the richest people or what you have when they talk about your assets and they, oh, what you own and all that shit. You don't know what a motherfucker own. You only can, what you know on the internet or you don't know exactly what, what how much money people really get. Especially when you're talking about some of the black entertainers and black moguls and business owners like Puff Daddy or P. Diddy, Jay-Z, guys of that nature, you know. Um, you know, Chris Brown owns a chain of fast food restaurants. I think a chain of Burger King or McDonald's or some shit like that. Very smart man with his money. But back to the topic, um, Forbes ain't perfect. And obviously they was wrong here. How can you ha- how can two of these, these two guys make fifteen million a piece and there's no guarantee that this pay per view is gonna do over a million pay per view buys? You know? How can they do fifteen million a piece when they live gate only did thirty three, thirty four million dollars? So if it flopped you know, Golden Boy and K2 is taking a major loss. 15 apiece, that's the whole live gate right there. 30 million. They, live gate was like 33, 34 million dollars. So sometimes you just got to do your, you got to just be smart. You got to use your brain. You know. And I I was I was wrong, but I was closer than 15 million. Apiece. I knew they wasn't getting 15 million apiece. It's not that type of fight. You know, Pacquiao had been in big fights and it, and it hasn't, you know, really, you know, bigger fights than this. And he might make 20, 25 million. His opponent might make $5 million. And that's a Pacquiao fight. In his heyday, in his prime, pre- pretty much, at Wesley. So, a Pacquiao fight, a lot of Pacquiao fights are bigger than this fight, in my opinion. You know, I'm not trying to knock this fight, but I'm just saying. Two guys that are speaking no English. You know, one guy that, that barely does 100 k in pay-per-view. You know, uh, the same guy, you know. They might know the fuck Triple G is. Now nah, this is just coming out part to show people who he is. And really get that notoriety. The people in the box are like, this guy can walk through any mall and everybody, oh, it's Triple G. Not too many fighters can do that. Not even Andre Ward can, not even Terrence Crawford. You know, this is a, a evolving boxing game. We having a turnover right now from the Pacquiao Mayweather era to these guys era. And it's time for somebody to step up. And, you know, the winner of this fight will. But don't believe everything you hear, even if it's from Forbes. We gone.